Hey YouTube, it's Justin, aka Demonic Sweaters. I've got a pretty cool video for you guys today, at least I think it's gonna be cool. It's a little project I decided to do. And back here behind me is this uh, E-Star uh, entry-level drum kit uh, that I did a review for probably a couple years ago already. Um, but I have it here in my teaching studio and it's paired with some low volume cymbals and some mesh heads. And since it already had all that stuff on it, and I had some extra triggers laying around at home. I was like, maybe I'll convert this thing to a hybrid, you know, electric uh, drum kit with low volume cymbals. So that's what I'm gonna do. So here we go. All right, so here's the stuff I'm gonna use. I've got this old Roland TD6 module uh, that I've used uh, many times on my channel here, as well as some drum triggers. So we've got a Roland uh, RT10K for the bass drum. And then the rest are D-Drum Red Shots, just all single zone. I'm not going to get too fancy with it, uh, but I'm going to put uh, those there. And then I also have this mount thingy. So I'm going to find somewhere to mount the, uh, the TD-6. I'm not exactly sure where yet. Uh, maybe off the ride stand uh, or maybe the hi-hat stand. We'll see. I generally don't like putting them on hi-hat stands, though, because it makes them too wobbly. So it might be better on the ride, but we'll see. So first things first, I've just got to install all the triggers. All right, here it is. And uh, this thing immediately became my favorite drum kit in this entire room, <laughs> uh, which is not surprising. I mean, it worked really well. I'm gonna hook up, what I'm gonna do is actually run a line out from the module. I think I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna try to record everything directly plus some overheads. I brought my little H1 in that maybe I can use for overheads or an overhead, and then uh, try to get a direct signal from the module as well and see how that sounds. Uh, yeah, it's cool. I mean, it's not, it works really good. You know, the triggering's not 100% perfect, but it's really not bad. Um, I would say kick, snare, and the two high toms are really good. The floor tom, you know, 16-inch drums can be tricky to trigger, but it's not terrible. I mean, it just gets a double trigger, trigger every now and then. But combined with the low-volume cymbals, uh, it's actually really fun to play. So here we go.
Well, that was a lot of fun. I think that worked really well. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, just to give you a uh, little more details, um, the heads on here are just the pearl muffle heads, single ply heads on everything. Uh, these are the Arborea uh, low volume cymbals. Uh, you used to be able to buy this pack on Amazon for very cheap, like $120 or something like that, or maybe even less than that. It was really cheap, but I think they've gone up in price since then. Uh, but I'll still post links down below to all this stuff uh, so you can pick it up for yourself. Um, and then I just have everything running through a Simmons uh, drum amplifier for the room. But what you just heard was actually going direct into my iPhone. Uh, so I just wanted to get the clearer sound. And then for the overhead, I used my H1N basically up there, pointed uh, sort of down at the drums to pick up the cymbals. And uh, overall, I think it worked really well. Um, very easy project. And uh, I think the students are gonna love this too uh, because it feels more like a real drum set to play. And uh, plus it sounds really cool uh, in the room with the TV6. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. And uh, if you guys wanna do me a favor, check out this link down below. Uh, what that's going to do is take you to a GoFundMe page for my band. And we're trying to raise enough funds to send us to the studio this fall. And uh, if you could help us out by clicking that link down below and uh, donating to that studio fund, that would be awesome. So anyway, thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you guys really soon. Have a great day. Later. Three. Recording. One, two.